This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Monday, July 18th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From the Wall Street Journal, China's economy records weakest growth since Wuhan lockdown. China's government reported an annual domestic product expansion rate of 0.4% in the April to June period, which is their weakest GDP growth since the lockdowns that began in Wuhan and spread throughout the country at the tail end of 2019 and into the first half of 2020. The Chinese government's ongoing adherence to a so-called COVID-0 strategy, which basically means a hair trigger on lockdowns so they can freeze everything and test everyone in a region anytime a new case is detected there, is a big part of this economic slowdown as entire cities, including their largest and most productive, have been closing and opening semi-regularly since the more infectious Omicron variant arrived earlier this year. Such lockdowns also impact in-country tourism and shopping, and periodic real estate scandals and bank panics have only amplified these issues. From Bloomberg, UK COVID infections jump by nearly 800,000 in a week. Some parts of the UK are seeing near-record levels of COVID infections, similar to what were reported last spring, as BA4 and BA5 Omicron subvariants spread through cities that have dropped many of their pandemic-era restrictions and mandates. About 3.5 million people in the UK are estimated to have had COVID last week, which is up from 2.7 million the previous week, which means that about 1 in 18 people in the country had COVID as of a week ago. The UK is not alone in seeing booming numbers. China is also reporting a huge number of cases right now, and these new waves are popping up around the world, in part because of those aforementioned dropped restrictions and mandates, and in part because these new subvariants seem to be a lot better at bypassing antibodies from earlier infections, allowing them to more easily reinfect people who were previously infected. And from Axios, HHS orders 2.5 million additional monkeypox vaccines to respond to outbreak. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has announced the purchase of another 2.5 million doses of monkeypox vaccine alongside the 1.6 million it has already ordered. Monkeypox isn't spreading at anything like the same scale as COVID, but it is behaving strangely compared to previous outbreaks, and it's spreading shockingly fast for a disease that ostensibly requires close physical contact to jump to new hosts, which is alarming a lot of medical experts. The former commissioner of the FDA recently said that the U.S. has seemingly failed to contain the virus, and clinics where they're distributing vaccines are running out quickly, as demand for the jabs has far outpaced supply. The World Health Organization recently declined to label monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern, which is its highest alert level, but will meet again this week to reconsider that decision. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.